Robert Henry Bragg, born 1919, died 2017, African-American physicist. Robert Henry Bragg used X-ray techniques to study the structure and electrical properties of carbon and other materials. He pursued this highly specialized work throughout his career. He worked in several industrial research centers and was a professor at the University of California at Berkeley. Later in his life, he was a scientific advisor in Washington and also did work in Nigeria. He was born in Jacksonville, Florida on August 11, 1919, the son of Robert Henry Bragg and the former Lily Camille McFarland. His father worked as an organizer for a longshoreman's union in Mobile, Alabama. His mother worked as a seamstress following a 1928 separation from Bragg's his father. In 1933, the young Bragg was sent to Chicago, to Chicago to live with an uncle, William McFarland, who was a plumbing contractor. Quote, his idea was, you should be an engineer, unquote, Bragg said of his uncle to contributor T.A. Heppenheimer in a telephone interview on May 7th, 1998. Quote, he was very much into technical things, unquote. This advice suited Bragg, who recalls that, quote, I was always good at technical things, math, and I could draw, unquote. He attended Tilden Technical High School, graduating in 1937, then enrolled at Woodrow Wilson Junior College. With war approaching, he entered a program of the Army's Signal Corps, Corps Corps, that trained people to work in defense plants. This program introduced him to, le to electronics, and to the Illinois Institute of Technology, where he received his training. He joined the Army in 1942 and became a second lieutenant. He served in combat zones in New Guinea and the Philippines, and twice received the Bronze Star as a military decoration. Then in 1946, after the war, he returned to IIT in Chicago. Initially, he studied electronics because, as he tells Heppenheimer, quote, I just love the idea of radar and electrons and all that stuff, unquote. But he soon switched to physics because he found that the courses in this field offered greater depth in the topics that interested him. He received a Bachelor of Science degree in physics from IIT in 1949. Bragg stayed on at IIT and pursued a Master of Science degree in physics. At the advice of his department chairman, he wrote a critical review of the existing state of knowledge of quantum mechanical scattering. In physics, the science of quantum mechanics provides a fundamental description of subatomic particles and phenomena, including the behavior of atoms, electrons, and x-rays. Scattering is an experimental technique wherein beams of, elect of electrons or x-rays bounce off atoms that have a regular arrangement. Atoms in a regular arrangement form crystals such as diamond or quartz. Bragg's work on scattering led him to the research laboratory of the Portland Cement Association in nearby Skokie, Illinois, where he joined following where he joined following receipt of his degree in 1951. His work at Portland Cement introduced him to the powerful methods of X uh, to the powerful methods of X-ray crystallography. He directed beams of x-rays at samples of materials. The x-rays scattered in specific directions and formed characteristic patterns of spots on photographic film. By studying these patterns, Bragg could learn which chemical compounds were present within his samples and in what quantity. But as he tells Heppenheimer, quote, After I had been at Portland Cement for a couple years, I realized I didn't know enough, unquote. He returned to IIT for a PhD in physics. He received this degree in 1960, conducting further research and writing at a, and further research and writing a dissertation in the field of X-ray crystallography. The methods of X-ray crystallography allow some physicists to do more than merely establish the presence of certain compounds. These methods have sufficient power to permit determination of how atoms are arranged within molecules. This makes it possible to describe the molecular structures of materials and thus characterize them at deep levels of understanding. After finishing at IIT, Bragg pursued continued 
Bragg pursued continued his research at the laboratory of Lockheed Aircraft Corps in Palo Alto, California. Working at this lab with a staff of graduate students from 1961 to 1969, he emphasized the study of carbon. Lockheed was a leader in building heat shields for spacecraft that re-entered the atmosphere. Carbon offers strong advantages as a material for such shields because it is lightweight, withstands high temperatures, and readily absorbs heat. On the space shuttle, carbon protects the hottest parts during re-entry. Brack describes it as, quote, the best material known, the best nature makes, unquote. In the late 1960s, the University of California at Berkeley was actively recruiting black scientists as faculty members. Bragg joined this university in 1969 as a professor in the Department of Material Science and Mineral Engineering. He also received a post as a senior scientist at the adjacent Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, with these two positions constituting, constituting a joint appointment. He served as chairman of his, of his university department from 1978 to 1981, then returned to his professorship, which allowed him to resume his research. His research continued to focus on carbon. It is known that substances containing carbon, when heated strongly, turn to graphite, which has a well-ordered molecular structure. The heated substances might produce formless arrays of carbon atoms, but they don't. Bragg's work at Berkeley contributed to understanding how the atoms form these orderly arrays. Though he retained his professorship at Berkeley until his retirement in 1987, he also held a number of advisory positions in Washington from 1980 on. He worked as a program director within the Department of Energy's Division of Material Science during 81 to 1982. As he recalls, quote, all the contracts that they had were my responsibility, unquote. He served on panels on the National Research Council, critically reviewing the quality of research, of research programs in material science at the Naval Research Laboratory and the National Institute of Standards and Technology. At the National Science Foundation, he joined the committee that advised the director of the Division of Materials Research, helping him pick topics that merited support. He also worked with the Fulbright Fellowship Program and spent a year in Nigeria as a Fulbright Scholar in 1992 to 1993. Bragg married Violet Maddie McDonald on June 14, 1947. They have two children, Pamela and Robert Henry. His personal activities include a life membership in the NAACP. Among his professional awards, he particularly treasures the status of fellow of the National Sci Sci Society of Black Physicists, which he received in 1995. Citations and sources are in the description.